That's the first of the chupacabra. Generator died. Your camera just died. Camera just died. Like uh, 20 green, 20 pellet, bird shot. When I'm Bigfoot hunting, I carry slugs only. Do you? Yeah, you but 20 gauge? E e yeah, but even that, I'm not you know real confident about. <laughs> <laughs> this is mainly a deterrent for snakes and um, hogs and things that you know might get us. I would never harm a chupacabra slash blue dog personally. Uh, there have been enough dead remains, and I don't see any point in that. So. Um, just for the warm and fuzzies, that's all this is for. Uh, I've seen it several times. It's just a different animal, you know, when you look at it. You try to make comparisons to some other type of animals, and you can go along so far, and then uh, you run out of comparisons. It does. Uh, gets to where some parts of the animal don't fit with uh, other animals that you've seen. When you feel the skin, it feels kind of like an elephant skin. That's what I compare it to. The more we work with them and the more we uh, talk about it, uh, the more people that uh, come up and tell me that they've had some experience in seeing them. A lot of people shot them and didn't know what to do with them. They burned them up or buried them. It's just really a, a strange uh, animal. Harvey, haven't you, because of your experiences here, haven't you become kind of a lightning rod as far as other people contacting you, saying that they've seen something or yeah, photograph, uh, something like that? Yeah, one person tells another and, and uh, uh, a, a lot of people, uh, They've seen them, and they don't know what they are, and they're wondering too what they are, and uh, you know, I, I guess the, they, they just want to talk to somebody that's had uh, a like experience, or, or maybe they're searching too, they're probably wanting to find out uh, some answers to uh, where that animal originated from. Kind of like a military <laughs> We Brought some predator attractant. Uh, the guy at the hunting shop said this is kind of like a new and hot product. It basically smells like um, rotting guts. That's what it was explained to me. But there's three doses per bag, so we sh should be able to lay out two or three doses here. And anything similar to a canid or a bobcat or anything like that is, you know, maybe the hogs will be attracted to it too. They're pretty. Um, pretty industrious little animals, but we're going to use some of this, and then I also have the predator bomb, and uh, you know, this is coyote urine essentially, and uh, so we're going to, just like we're marking our territory, you know. Um, I don't know yet if I want to send out mixed signals by using both of these in conjunction. Does anyone have any thoughts on that? Maybe do it as a control experiment, do one site where we... I think I'd do group. that because if you put the coyote urine out, wouldn't that, either the males would it's a challenge to them. Yeah. What do you think they would? Um, you know, I don't know if they it might maintain, it, it stay might, in the area, and it, mark. It mark. might pique their curiosity. Yeah. I mean, if it's a territorial challenge, it's the kind of thing where they might come in just to lay their own scent, where they feel like, okay, so you're here, I'm here too, kind of thing. Um, you know, I'm thinking maybe as, again as a control thing, maybe we just have one spot where we just lay out the uh, the food attractant. And then maybe have another one where we do at least the perimeter or areas, you know, some trees around that area. And then maybe have this kind of in a centralized location. Anything can happen out here, you know.